Moravian College women's soccer team renewed their rivalry with Muhlenberg College on Wednesday in a Matty Award match on the Hub Quad. The bitter rivals needed more than 90 minutes to settle the score, but it only took junior forward Kirsten Shaw 24 seconds and overtime to score the golden goal and give the Greyhounds the 2-1 victory. The Mules led 1-0 at halftime, but an equalizer from senior Caroline Clark erased the lead in the second half to force the extra time. Despite holding advantages in scoring chances and possession in the first half, the Mules were the first to light the scoreboard with a tally in the eighth minute. After a rousing halftime speech by a trio of women's soccer alumni, the Hounds bit back. Former players Stevie Oxy, Carly miller Henacek, and Neely miller Feemster urged the squad to play with the heart and passion of the relentless Greyhound. In the 57th minute, senior Taylor DeSora rips a shot, which is saved and rebounded back into play. Clark is there to tie the game at 1-1 with her third goal of the season. Head coach Brianne Smith praised the goal because it developed from perfect ball movement and finished with a heads-up play by Clark, who scored her eighth career goal at Moravian. With less than five seconds left in regulation, sophomore Catherine Lamplew misses the game winner by inches as her shot bangs off the post, and the horn sounds sending the contest into overtime. If you blinked in overtime, you missed it. Shaw gets the golden goal with a beautiful left-footed shot over the Mules keeper, and the celebration is on. Shaw added to her team lead and goal scored, and picked up her second game winner of the year. With the victory, the women's soccer squad gave Moravian a 3-2 lead over Muhlenberg in the 2013-14 Matty Award Battle, a year-long multi-sport competition between the rival schools forward to those moments every year and you hope to have them, especially against a rival like Muhlenberg. Um, I think I was so amped up after the second half because we just dominated the game um, and we really thought it was going to come during regulation, especially with Catherine Lamplew hitting the post in the final seconds of the game. We just wanted to make sure the momentum was going to stay in our favor and it clearly did because 30 seconds into the half, Kirsten scored that great goal. Um, it was just exciting, you know, um, just Love one of the one wonderful things about being a coach um, is to be a part of a team and be able to celebrate with them. So it was a great feeling. It was just incredible, and I knew my team was relying on me, and I knew I had pressure to score a goal since I I have been scoring a lot of goals for this team lately. And being out, I wasn't able to play, and it was really frustrating. And now I'm really. I was really excited because now I feel like I'm getting back into my actual playing. Yeah, I mean, she's, consider she's consistent. She comes up for us big time again and again, and we, you know, sort of rely on her to do that. I know it's a lot of pressure, and she puts a lot of pressure on herself, um, but she handled those moments with grace. I mean, she did it against Scranton in the final minute and a half left to finish that great goal, and then to know that we were kind of relying on her to do it again, and she had the opportunity, and you could just tell. You could tell that her first touch on the ball was just, she was going for it, and um, it was a great finish. And We've seen her do that time and time again, but having her out for a few games um, and then coming back, and it seems like she's starting to tr finally uh, hit her stride, so it's good to see. I mean, I've been playing soccer, like, my entire life, and I would definitely put this in top three because I, I knew that I had to do this for my team, and I knew that, like, not only my team was depending on me, but the whole school and the alumni and having the alumni come talk to us was, I mean, it was so helpful for me because I was already so, like, like angry and motivated because, like, we were going into overtime against Muhlenberg and, like, I just wanted to beat them. And then hearing um, one of the alumni, Stevie, say how um, the, the goalie punched her in the face and I was like, I do not like when other teams beat up on my team and I'm going to take it out on them. <laughs> so it was a good feeling. <laughs> The Greyhounds finished the 2013 regular season against Goucher on Saturday on the Hub Quad at noon. It's a win and in situation for the Hounds to get into the landmark conference tournament. A loss eliminates Moravian from contention, and a tie would only qualify if Scranton beats or ties Catholic. I actually think they prefer it, um, to have that pressure on it, uh, them and know how big the game is. I think to just play better under pressure. Um, when, whenever we go and face a, a conference opponent, there's always that pressure to win. Uh, they're always big games, and so they're already pumped up. But to have that added, you got to win or you're out. Um, I think these guys are going to play the game of their lives. I think especially these seniors, they want it so badly, and I think they're going to play the best game they've played all year. Mm -hmm.